Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? I am playing Heimdall today because there was a comment that really struck me um, when I was reading my comments yesterday, and it was that he, he was so sad. He was so upset because he said uh, something along the lines of how I never read his comment and how it's, it makes him so sad because... He likes my content, and all he wants is for me is a Heimdall game. And I thought, you know what? It's the season of giving. I'll give you the Heimdall game you deserve, my guy. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. So, yeah, we, here we are. Uh, let's throw up the MMR for a second. See what we are all about. 2,000 MMR versus 3,000 MMR. All right. A, a, a normal, well, debatably normal uh, MMR difference, differential. Trying to punch me in the head, and I do not respect it. Now, I do have... Nice. And now, I just do this, and I teleport to blue, and then I do my blue. This is what Heimdall players do. And it works out for them, so it should work out for me. Perfect. No wonder they do that. That's OP. You get two buffs and you can still you can still fight for the third. Alright. I, however, am not gonna fight for the third. I probably could, but again, I just I don't really know. I don't really know. But instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna farm. I'm fighting a Kronos again. My other video for the day was a Kronos, so... A couple Kronos games today. Not bad, though, because... I've been fighting a lot of Bologna's, and, and people have been banning Bologna today, so... Okay, he did beads it. I was hoping that he didn't have beads. Uh, obviously. But, that's okay. That's okay. Let's go back here. I am not going to teleport back. I probably could. I probably could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to place the three back here so that if I desperately need to, I can do something different with it. Um, Place here. Place here. Place here. Okay, ow. Okay, ow. My attack speed is not up there yet. Turns out I'm not ready for the big leagues. Oh, big stun. I still have uh, my meditation up. And he won't have beads, and he does not have alt. So, when my alt comes up, he's uh, he should be a little bit scared. Maybe he should be a little bit more scared than what he is. I'm waiting for the stun to come out, so that I can CC him in the stun. And last auto attack gets the kill. Perfect execution there. I hit the one. I slowed him on the exit of the alt. Which, um, slowing on the exit of the alt pretty much just secures the one. So, I secured the one. I hit the alt perfectly with the stun. Waiting for that stun for the CC immunity. Didn't want to use it too early. Or too late because that would have been bad. Um, can I get this? More than likely no, because, yeah, his damage is a little bit better than mine. Um. I can go get my Transcendence. I probably will here. I'm very scared, because his one will kill. His one will kill. I'm not ignorant to that. Um. I'm gonna TP over here though, for sure. Oh, 
All right, there's no shot in the world that I'm letting you get my blue and your blue, though. Never have I ever let that happen. Nor will I. Get away from me. All right, beads again. It's actually really good for me, the fact that he beads that, because there's almost no way I'm killing him there. Also, you have no mana. I don't know. I don't know what, like, hero play you think this is, but it's you're not getting this blue buff with that much mana. No shot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it does last hit. Perfect. I was a little worried that my one wasn't going to last hit there. All right, so we got the XP. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're heading back now. I'm going to go for an Aussie. Rather than life... Or, I'm sorry. Rather than defense, I'm going to go lifesteal because I think lifesteal is going to matter more to me. Um, I am higher level than him. Even if... No, okay. I am higher level than him, but him clearing the wave evened us, evened us out quite a good amount. Uh, he has Bancrofts, which means his fighting potential is actually quite good. Which does scare me a little bit, because Chrono's fighting potential already is good. Add a Bancrofts on top, and now you're talking about a god gamer fighter. Okay. Now, my autos do a really significant amount of damage. Oh, that was just bad. I tried to auto to avoid the stun. Now, he, he wants to fight this right now because... Um, I'm just running. I'm just running. He wants to fight that because I missed my stuff. Which obviously means he's in the lead for that fight. And I missed my uh, my alt, which meant that he is a full ass alt up, which is very bad for me. Oh man, that Bancroft is doing work, my guy. That Bancroft is doing God's work. I may be all see. My allies, not so much. Hmm. Oh, I actually got it. I actually got that that red buff. That's so lucky for me. Yeah, he really wants me not to have any say in what happens this game. Um. Oh, he's not actually at my blue. I really expected him to be here. Him being at my blue is the entire reason that I teleported back. So, him not being here is fantastic for me, because that just means I get a buff, man. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, he didn't beat it. Okay. Juke the stun, juke the one. And we got his ult. I really need some anti-heal here. But an Aussie by itself, even though it's not anti-heal, um, it's going to give me a huge increase in my fighting potential. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty decently ahead. But uh, it doesn't feel like that because Kronos, unfortunately. Hello? How that hit me? Okay, pause the game. I can go get my Aussie, or I have the option of farming just a tad bit more and going for Toxic Blade. I'm not sure what I want. I think I'm probably going to get Aussie. I think I'm probably going to get Aussie. Um, uh, I can win this fight right here. I can't actually win this fight right here. Uh, okay. Hold on. He's very fast. Um, does he have beads? Uh, 
question is if he has beads if he has beads then i lose that if i alt him and i kind of wanted to alt him i'm sure that you could tell um yeah i want to go toxic blade here uh i'll probably go beads here because that stun is getting more and more of an issue gonna tp in just so i have the advantage of uh having the pressure Okay, he's got breastplate, obviously. My man's got the jukes that pay bills, bro. Yeah, there's the beads. I will take that. I am not afraid to accept a nice alt for beads change. All right, my damage is actually finally up there a little bit, so I can confirm those buffs, which is really, really nice. Uh, I should be going to do my blue buff here. I think I will. Perfect. Now we'll go do my blue. He's going Toxic Blade as well. Obviously, he knew I wanted Aussie, right? So, a couple of Toxic Blade boys. I cannot finish mine. I'm 300 gold off. It's 1650 gold to finish the Toxic Blade if you have tier 1. So, only a little bit of gold off. I mean, two auto attacks actually trade with the one pretty evenly. The lifesteal is kind of saving him. The Bancrofts. I can... Well, this is spawning now. Perfect. Alright, you should be dead AF. Awesome kill. Awesome kill. And that is exactly what I needed. That's exactly what he needed. All three buffs, another kill, and just a solidified lead. A lead that cannot be disputed if I have a lead. You know, <laughs> like that's what I needed. So we have all three, uh, all three buff control, two kills on him. And we're feeling pretty good now. I think what I'm going to be doing is more than likely forcing a fight. I see no way he wins a fight right now. He might be able to live, but my damage is insane. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, I do not want to get hit by that. I'm going to med because I think I can win this fight even, um, even with him being, you know, Kronos and ulting and using his two and everything. So it's very, very nice. Very nice. I read the situation correctly. I was able to pressure him out win the fight i didn't get the kill but i won the fight and got the tower so i used my two there just to cc him um he should be dead here i believe i used that way too early why did he beats all right that beads was very good from from me uh he beats i think just a tad bit too late which ended up being his downfall. And I can definitely get Phoenix. My attack speed is really solid with uh, Aussie and Toxic Blade. So Phoenix is in the cards. And while I'm running away, clear the wave just a bit. Just a bit, just a bit. I really, really would love this red buff. I feel like he's not going to let me have it. Oh, no, he is. Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we're going to back. We're going to get Pestilence or Bulwark. I actually think I'm going to go Bulwark. And here's my reasoning why. Because he has a stun, his three, right? Because he has that three, the less I can be actually stunned by that, the better. So um, the 20% CCR you get from Bulwark of Hope, I think, will actually be really good in this matchup. 
and it's not like I, I it's not like his healing is too too much right now I I think it's kind of um under control I'll say not beaten but under control with my toxic blade I can I can at least out damage it you know what I mean so this damage output is redonkulous What the? He did not land when it said he was going to land, boys. Did you guys see that? He landed so much earlier than it said he was going to land. But there you go. Heimdall game complete. It was a fun game. It was a little bit iffy in the beginning. A little bit iffy in the beginning. Um. But yeah, good game all around. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.